What is going on guys? It is Kevin from KJ3 Computers and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a .dll file containing custom icons of your choosing. And to do that we're going to be using Resource Hacker. The link to download Resource Hacker is in the description down below. It is free software and it's very easy to install and run. I've been using it since about 2012 and it's very early revisions and it's trust me it's a very handy tool when it comes to stuff like this. So once you have it downloaded and installed you're going to go ahead and run it you're going to be presented with this and over here you can go to add binary or image resource hit select file don't worry about any of this just yet you know you're not really going to be able to change anything so go ahead and select file and I have a folder filled with icons right here and so I'm just gonna put all these three into a DLL file instead of having an actual folder so I'm going to go ahead and select my first one here. Notice that the resource type changed to icon group, and I'm going to leave the resource name at 1. And I don't know if you're actually able to change that, but I'm going to keep it the same just in case it does mess with the file because I haven't changed it before, and I don't know if it will corrupt the DLL file when it's made. So go ahead and hit add resource, and you'll notice that it created a main folder named icon and a subfolder named icon group, and now it's creating itself into a DLL kind of format if I want to say. And then you're going to go ahead and do that to the other ones as well. It's going to change its name to resource 2. And then 3 for 3, 4 for 4, and then you guys get it. Okay, and then once that's finished, you'll notice that you have all of them. And then you can go ahead and hit this green floppy disk here. That hits it, that's a save as, excuse me. And then you can name this file whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine... EMU icons and then we remember to put .dll at the end of the file name to to save it as a DLL file because it needs to have that extension in order to do so. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. It's going to take a second to be made here. Alrighty, let's see it's right here. I'm pretty sure it actually compressed it 200 kilobytes. 198 kilobytes. Okay, a whole two kilobytes won't kill me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Resource Hacker. I'm going to go ahead and delete this file just to show you guys that it's not running off it. So I got my dummy folder here. I'm going to change it. Go to Customize, Change Icon, Browse. Now I'm going to hit EMU Icons. That's the DLL folder we made. And notice how three of my icons are there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the red one to match my theme. Hit Apply. And there we go. So that is a pretty quick and easy tutorial on how to make something like that. I know it can be handy to, you know, people like me who are into custom customizing everything like they, they got to have to add to add to their theme and make it look good. So, trust me, you're not the only one out there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment in the description if you want to see how to, I made those icons using Adobe Photoshop CS5 or above and how to install the dot .ico file extension so you can actually create them in Photoshop. And if you guys have any questions, again, leave a comment in the description down below, not the description, the comment box. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you like the content, and thank you guys for watching.